like death warmed over you. <laughs> That's what happened to me when I was in New York. My husband took me for this big old long nature walk and I was dying. I was like, and then I got to the house and um, Teresa, <laughs> my husband used to call her Tati. So Tati was like, you look like death warmed over you. <laughs> and she used to call jeans dungarees. I was like, what are, I asked my husband, I was like, a, I was a young girl at the time, I was only like 19, 20 years, I was like, what are dungarees? <laughs> He's like, oh, that's what we call jeans. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck are dungarees? <laughs> oh my God, New York was such an experience. I loved New York. I loved when I first went to visit him. Because I was writing him a letter and he was reading me the letter. He goes, you're going to laugh at this letter because you're sitting here saying, you must be freezing cold right now. And the weather was like sunny and everything. So we st we were reading this letter that I wrote him and we're both cracking up. We're just like, what the fuck? It's like really beautiful weather. And I'm sitting here saying, you must be freezing cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> we used to laugh at the stupidest things. Um, like <laughs> one time we were on an airplane. This is the funniest thing. We were on an airplane and it wasn't even our airplane. We were trying to go to San Diego. So they called San Diego and we thought that was the only one to San Diego. But that was the one that was the flight before our flight. So they called our flight <laughs> and I go, hey, that's our flight. They called San Diego. So we're stupid. We just jump on the plane. It wasn't even our flight. We were supposed to be on the next flight. But hey, maybe that was God because maybe the next flight, something happened to it or something. We we were on the first, we were on somebody else's flight. So we just went on it. We're just like, what the fuck? And then we sit in the seats and we're having a good time. We're flying to San Diego. And there was somebody laughing like Vincent Price. So we were just like, <laughs> we both looked at each other. <laughs> that had to be a sign that, that our marriage was doomed or whatever. So he's like, ah, ha, 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 like laughing like Vincent Price. So we're just like, okay, <laughs> what was that all about? <laughs> we both looked at each other and we, we were just like, what? <laughs> So what kind of trip is this? And then we get there and it was like totally fun, but it rained. It was like thunder and lightning. So we had, he ordered, uh, we were in a nice hotel. We were, we went to Coronado Island, but we didn't stay there. We stayed at another nice hotel, which had room service and everything. It was a, it was like a luxury hotel. And we ordered um, lobster to our room. <laughs> I love you Scorpios. They're, they could be pretty extravagant. Yeah, so we ordered lobster. And then um, it was pouring down rain. And I was like, I wasn't having a good time because I was like, what the fuck is up with this rain? You know, like at the time, I wasn't thinking it was romantic. I was like, this is, I was like, I wanted it to be sunny. I was like, what's up with this rain? Like he liked it because he's a guy and, you know, he knows how, you know, girls like that. They like the rain and making love in the rain and all that stuff. And I, I was just a kid. I was just like, what the fuck is up with this rain? I was like, I don't want it to rain. Like, I want to go, like, to the beach and stuff. So, we, the next day it was kind of nice, and then we went shopping, you know. But I went, you know, we, we went and blew some money. He bought me these pearls um, at the hotel, which was really pretty pearls. And then they were like cuckoo shells. They were really pretty. They were like, I don't know. I don't know what happened to any of my jewelry. People were still on our stuff probably. Uh, my dog chewed up every, all my shoes, all my good shoes, and chewed up some of his good shirts and some of his shoes. He wanted to wring that dog's neck. It was a little um, miniature collie. It was like a little miniature collie. Like um, they're like little, they're like little lassie dogs. <laughs> they're like little lassie dogs. So they're just really cool dogs. They're like super cool. You know, like, I, I missed Bogey, but I knew he went to a good home. So I was happy for the most part that um, the lady that had him didn't even want to part with him after that. I'm so upset that my weight is gaining back, so i got to go for a jog or something. i got to get this weight down, you guys. This is horrible that I tried to, I tried to, everything that I was trying to do was like an epic fail. Like, everything, like, I was trying to lose weight, and I was working so hard at it, and then you know, that was an epic fail, and then you know, trying to show someone that I liked him, that was an epic fail. And then, you know, the last crush was an epic fail. <laughs> it was like all these epic fails. 
my marriages, two marriages were epic fails. So I'm just kind of tired of it. My car situation was an epic fail because I had bought a brand new car and then I had Lonnie threatening me because I didn't want to be with him at the time. And it wasn't because I had a new car. I just was going, I was trying to serve God so I could get my true husband that God has for me. And I know there's a true husband out there when the time is right. And it's like before I just get disgusted about everything and not even want to even have a husband, I'll just be like, fuck it. I'm just done. Like, you know. You know, because, like, it's not every day that you find someone that you really like. But then you do have to get rid of all the other, you know, all the other people that like you. Um, and you also have to serve God. And you have to wait patiently on God's, you know, on God's timing. It's not your timing. Because his timing is different than our timing. So we can't just say, oh, well, I want this, you know, and he's not going to just give it to you because, you know, maybe he has something better or maybe it's not the right time or maybe he has to like, you know, he has to, you know, he has to work on you a little bit more. And it's just, you just have to be able to wait patiently like Job did. Job went through hell, like my face went through hell. My face was, my face has been breaking out. Um, just like left and right and um, it's just um, it's because I'm stressed out like they say acne comes when you're stressed out and lately I've been stressed out so because things weren't going right for me to work out and things weren't going right you know just in general and it, and it you know it got me stressed out so <sighs> um, waiting on the breathing machine to come in and these people on Instagram keep asking me to go to hangouts and I'm like ah, what the fuck for didn't I meet you on Instagram what the fuck like so who cares about hangouts so uh, this one guy was like you know pressuring me all night about that I was like what the fuck leave me alone like I don't really want to deal with that right now I don't even date on social media like you could be a murderer like what the fuck like leave me I don't date on social media I tried that and the guy was like tried to pull out his his D like in the car and I was like excuse me like did I say to pull out your D in the car so yeah <laughs> red flags popping up everywhere dicks popping up everywhere <laughs> like who does that <laughs> that's like that Instagram reel where it's like where she's like what's your favorite color and he says uh, what color are your nipples? She's like, she's just like, uh, that's like vulgar. And then some guys like it, you know, like some guys like you to show your titties and some guys don't, I guess. I don't know. What the fuck? Like, okay. So like, you know, this is like everybody's different. So I'm just like, ah, just like so done. Ah, oh, stick a fork in me. I'm done. I'm burnt to a crispy from life right now, but it's going to get better because I know I'm serving God. And I, I guess I already repented of the weed that I smoked. So, because they say sin causes pain, but it's not really sin. It's just the consequence of after you sin and then you need more and you need more weed to just cover up. Like when you're smoking weed, you need more weed and 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 more weed, and more weed to cover up the consequences of sin. You just need to just stay high every damn day of your life. <laughs> so yeah, my face really broke out bad. I, just, I should have told him to give me a thing for a dermatologist because my face is just really bad right now. It's just like a lot of stress in my life and that's, that's what makes you break out. Or it's like, if you don't eat the right foods, like, you know. <laughs> I haven't been eating a lot of greasy foods, but anyway, no, just I'm excited about my acting audition on Saturday, and they have, um, like I said, they have classes. Um, I used to take acting classes, so I just need to get back in the swing of it and just start taking acting classes again. And um, I used to have a lot of fun in my acting classes. I took acting in two different colleges, one in Gilroy, 
where they taught me what a monologue was and I did a monologue for the movie I was in that's how I got casted because I knew what a monologue was some people don't even know what a monologue is so I did my monologue and I got casted for the movie and I, did, I was in a movie and I want to get in another movie so it's just a matter of time you know before I start doing movies again and then um, all casting said that 22 people viewed my profile and they're interested in me because I guess sometimes people could see me on Instagram and they're like, hey, let's go to all casting and see if Michelle Ramon has a profile there. And they are interested in me. Some of the casting agents are interested in me. So um, when they see me on Instagram and stuff, so that's why I do my Instagram reels, not just because I'm bored. I do it because it's part of my acting stuff. And I am an actress and I'm, I feel like I'm getting better at it, but um, I've already been trained and I want to get more training in it. So um, so that it could be better, you know, so thank you for joining my depressed, my depression attack tonight, because I have severe anxiety, I'm, I'm suffering from, like, mental damage, it's called mental emotional anguish from losing my kids for 10 years, just because I wanted a parenting class, and I thought I was being a good mom by trying to get a parenting class, and then I got brutalized, um, over and over again by Santa Clara County, by three different policing agencies and they kidnapped my kids twice the first time I wasn't a resident and Gilroy police is going to get sued by me or I'm going to ask for their benevolence fund and I'm going to print out a lawsuit on them for not upholding the laws to a crime and I'm going to try to take the chief of police's badge away from him I'm going to go to the records department and pull his badge and seize his whole badge if he does if he you know if he thinks this is a joke, it's not because I know how to see somebody's badge because I've worked with people that fought the government and they said, this is what you do. You go and you request their badge number and when you go to court, you ask the judge to seize their badge to take their badge away from them because they are in fraud of their badges. They took an oath of office to abide by your constitutional rights and when they don't, you can take their badge away from them. You can request that in court. And that's exactly what I'm going to do if they don't get on their job and let me press criminal charges because they're not abiding by my constitutional rights. So, yeah. And a lot of these agencies don't because they are just corrupted uh, public corruption agents and they work not for God. They are not, they're not, if they were working for God, they would definitely take your police report seriously and they would let you press criminal charges. So some people are not working for God. The ones that are, that's good, you know. I do salute the ones that are constitutional officers and the ones that aren't, they're not working for God. So they're in fraud of their badges. So anyway, I gotta go because I'm at work, but I, I had to take off that hot work shirt. I was, he goes, you took off your work shirt. I was like, yeah, I had to put my super, super woman shirt on. I'm just like so hot out here because it's hot, you know, and I've had like a really rough week. I've had like, I had to go to the social security office and do all kinds of paperwork and they helped me fill it out and the lady was super nice. I, I know that was just God right there giving me a nice, um, a nice worker that helped me and I got to, I just have so many things to do every day. Like I got to go turn in this rent receipt to the welfare department too. I gotta do laundry. I gotta go buy a wig for my audition. I gotta make sure my son doesn't F up and I gotta go to this audition, you know, come with me. Um, otherwise, you know, I'll be calling one of my friends with a car. Like Taylor's been chauffeuring me around a couple times. And if I call him in a, a day before and say, hey, you might have to come get me because if my son doesn't order my lift ride, but he will, I'm sure he will. And I'm not working out at my normal gym. Um, I joined a really good gym, which is like walking distance to my house, which I'm happy. And they have a track, so I, I gotta get my doctor letter uh, from my from my apartment complex where I live and take my dog and jog with my dog because that'll help her too, because she needs an outlet she doesn't need to be cooped up in the house all day that's why both of us take her out you know he takes her and I take her and it works out good you know so it's just um I don't know what this video is even going to be called just like 
hell week. Michelle Ramon had a hell week. <laughs> a hell week last week and a hell week this week. You know, so it is what it is. Oh, Mario's calling me. Okay, let me ignore that for now. Um, okay, guys, I love you, and I'm sorry if I had, like, a mental breakdown right now. Uh, I, I tried to be strong and not cry. Okay, I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. If you like, this bitch has more problems than anybody. Let's, like, share it. Can this go viral? No, I'm just kidding. Make it go viral so CPS can be handcuffed and put in federal penitentiary because they are the bad people. Okay, thanks. I'm a child care worker, a good mom. I raised all my kids in the church. Why would you do this? And why would my family black sheep me and turn their back on me too? It's just like, wow, things that make you go, hmm. And they've been kind of like that, but I know who the ringleaders are. I'm not saying any names. Okay. I'll let you guys go. Like, share, and subscribe.